One, two, three, fuck it. When you park up in a car parking space and you're in the worst place you could be for the angle of light and we've got a bit of cloud cover and we're there but can you see us or can you not? I think you can. Hi guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're just joining us now, welcome. I hope you are well. I hope life is treating you good. So today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a come shop with me. You absolutely love these videos and I love filming them because it's an excuse to say what bargains and what new things are in my favourite shops so that's what we're going to be doing today I'm on an industrial park where I have lots of my favourite shops it's actually probably my favourite industrial park we've got home bargains we've got B&M we've got Poundland TK Maxx there's an M&S outlet here and I'm just going to go around them all and see what's new in the stores. See what I'm fancying because, you know, I'm a homeowner now. So any excuse to buy an extra reed diffuser, I'm going to do it, okay? I'm sorry, but it's just what you need to do when you're a homeowner, isn't it? Anyway, I'm so, so excited to let you know, though, that this video is very, very kindly sponsored by ShopTagger. As you know, I've worked with ShopTagger many a times and I absolutely love them. And it's a free, easy way for you to save money. So, of course, I'm going to tell you is about that and of course i'm going to shout it from the rooftops because if you can save money on your online shopping you can spend more in pound land that's the way i say it the link in the description it will take you to this sign up page all you have to do is enter a few details into the sign up page once you've done that you will be coming to this page where you can click get free button once you've got the free button you want to add it to your chrome and then you want to add extension like i'm doing so yeah once you've added the extension you will get this little icon appear on your extension then once you've done that you are free to shop as usual so to do my shopping so then you would just do your shopping as you usually would um so i actually already have some stuff in my trolley because i've been on august quite a bit recently so as you can see i have some stuff in my trolley now this workout thing i was actually looking to get for sean shop tagger has this really amazing feature where what you can do is make yourself little lists to keep yourself organized and keep all your shopping organized so you click on the shop tagger little icon and then you get these options so you can notify when any price change, half price or 25%. I usually just click any and then you can add it to your list. Now, like I said, this is something that I was looking to get for Sean. So this is something that I would add to Sean's Christmas list. Another great feature of ShopTagger is if you are doing online shopping for yourself or whatever, once you select the items that you want to buy, you um codes are automatically applied so you don't have to start searching the internet for discount codes anymore the codes are automatically applied to your shopping basket and as you can see from this transaction i saved eight pound which is bloody amazing i didn't even have to do anything make sure you click the link in the description to download shop tagger now and start saving yourself some money but now that we've talked about shop tagger i'm gonna just yeah we're just gonna go shopping i think we're gonna start with tk maxx then we'll probably end up in Poundland and then we'll go to B&M and then we'll go to Home Bargains because Home Bargains is like the other side of the industrial so I do need to like move the car there but I'm also in Sean's car you might be thinking this doesn't look like your car so I've been on Sean's and Sean's for ages he's been on mine um just in case we ever need to drive each other's car and honestly I used to avoid driving his car like the plague I really didn't want to drive it I just thought it was too fancy too tech the other day when I was at the house um I needed to pop out and he was like just drive the car because my car wasn't at our house it was at like my family house still anyway long story short i had no other option but to drive his car so i was like right so i just went for it now obviously i um have a full driving license and i'm on his insurance so I'm, I'm totally allowed to drive the car it was just a personal preference that i didn't want to drive the car I got in the car it's an automatic car as well so that was like really scary for me and I always find newer cars with all the modes and everything just too tech like I like my little Peugeot 107 anyway I got in the car and I was driving it for 10 minutes and I fell in love with the bloody thing and I absolutely love it um it's so smooth to drive it's so easy no more hill starts no more um what do you call it stalling I just think it's bloody fab so now I'm a bit addicted to his car so that's my little life update anyway enough of the rambling let's head into TK Maxx okay guys so i'm at my favorite section which is like skincare and everything like that i honestly love this section of tk max you find some right bargains 
Look at that little sanctuary spa hydrating mask. I feel like I need it, but I honestly don't. But yeah, there's so much skincare. I really like this section as well. You can get some eyelashes, usually really cheap. Um, and then there's loads of like makeup applications. But this is actually a bargain, three ninety nine for like, well, two sponges, four half sponges. But yeah, so I love this section. Oh, look at these Doctor Lip Tint. They come in four shades. Oh, that one's a lip balm actually for dry lips. Oh, and you've got the paw paw stuff as well. I actually sell this in Home Bargains as well though. Um, so I don't know if it'll be cheaper. And then you've got the AOS balm. I've got lots of charcoal and bamboo toothbrushes if you're into any of these. Um, and then they've got this little kit as well for 5 dollars with a little toothbrush and toothpaste in it. It's quite cute for traveling. I'm just looking in the bag section. I've come across this. It's a Ralph Lauren black little everyday bag and it's um, $49.99 and the RRP was £89. I feel like it looks really cute but then I don't know if it just looks like I don't know I just think it's really cute like an everyday bag um I'm quite keen on it to be honest but I'm not going to get it because I really don't need a bag especially I've just bought a house I can't be buying unnecessary stuff but that's a really cute bag in my opinion I really love coming to TK Maxx like all through the year and any bargains I see in buying and just keeping is a stock and filler for like Christmas and stuff because you can get some amazing stuff at like the um, skincare bits and that and they're amazing just to keep for like stock and fillers for Christmas so that's what I like doing but yeah I'm just having a browse I don't really know where I'm going to go I definitely want to go upstairs to the home section because I've never really been into the home section because I don't know I've just never really had a home so it's not really appeal to us but now it does obviously so gonna be going in there oh my god guys i've literally just walked up to the home section and i've seen this bed and it's a double duvet but it's got loads of skinny dogs on it if you don't know i actually love like sight hounds they're my favorite dogs so, like lurchers whitbaits greyhounds i'm actually really keen on this bed and so this is a double duvet set i'm gonna see how much it is it's £30, like usually I get my bedding from B&M but I've never seen one with skinnies on it, I'm quite obsessed with that. Um, I'm just not sure the colour theme is my preference though, it's like navy, but oh my god I do actually love it, you know I might have to get it. It's a little mirror for £12.99, I think this is really cute, um, but honestly I have them in my house that I'm going to be bringing home to the new house, so I don't really need them, but I really like that. It's a white soap dispenser with like a wood detailing on the top, that's quite cute. Now this clear one with gold detailing is a bit of me and it's glass as well. I really, really like that. I might get one of these for the bathrooms because I think that's so cute. Why do I want this little globe to be my best mate? This is the cutest thing. I really, really want this. I don't need it, but do I want it? Yeah. Oh my God, look at this fish. That's a bit bizarre. Not a big fan of him. Oh my God, look at him. Oof. I've spied the mustard. Now I don't know if you know, but I've gone with a mustard theme in the office. So I'm a bit drawn to this, so that's a nice little tray on the bottom. Okay guys, so I'm now in Poundland. Honestly, TK Maxx was a bit of a disappointment. I didn't find anything I wanted, so I'm just going to have a look around here. I haven't been in Poundland in a while, so I'm just going to see if there's anything new in that I fancy get. seen this in um, Poundland. It's a Nivea um, Long Lasting Moisturiser Lip, but it's in a um, shade, so it's in hot pink. So it'll moisturise your lips well, giving them a bit of a tint. And then i also seen Rimmel do a lip balm. I never knew they did a lip balm, um, but this is just a moisture hydrate lip balm by so this is actually poundland's own range of like skincare now i've seen all these products before but i didn't actually know that they brought this out it says limited edition shimmer body lotion so this is new in my opinion i've not seen this before this witch cleansing lotion is actually really good um if you have spots my mom swears by it she loves it there's a little mini perfume set here which is only two pound and it literally looks like the joe malone perfumes like this is so cute obviously i don't know what the smell like but it looks really luxurious i think and then you've just got some little bath crystals and then this little set these are perfect stocking fillers for christmas i've actually been looking at these on amazon they're like pop tiles where there's basically like sticky back and you can like diy your room with them and i've noticed they've got some in poundland these black and white ones would actually go really really well in the bathroom that i have in the ensuite but i'm unsure how many i would need so i'm unsure whether i get them or not but they have wood looking ones as well i think these are such a bargain I've seen this by Derma V10 and it's a root touch up for different colour hairs so they've got a brown one, a black one and a dark brown one and they're only £2 as well. I have so many Halloween stuff in um, so if you're having a Halloween part or anything get down here. Why do I really want this moon lamp? Look at all the little decor they're getting in for Christmas, stock and fillers, they've got so much stuff. Look at this, fizz glasses and a bell. <laughs> Then they've got some like gin and tonic stuff, like all these little stock and fillers, and then they've started to have, get some Christmas sweets in as well. These little money boxes are cute, so they come in blue and pink, and they're little pastel colours. I'm not sure where you put the money in them though. Oh, it's at the back there, so you just fill them up with money. They're actually reduced to 50 pence as well. I think they're quite cute. 
I'm an absolute sucker for lemons. This mug is the cutest thing ever, so I have to get some of them. I think that's absolutely adorable. I love anything with lemons on it. I just think they're so happy. I've just seen this candle called Tipsy Plum and it's deep and fruity 12 hour burn time and I've just took the lid off to smell it. It smells so good. This looks like a new range of candles in Poundland because I've never seen them before but I just think it looks super duper cute and I have a bit of a candle collection um, so yeah I really like candles. Okay guys, so I'm just putting the stuff in the boot of the car, but I bought this in Poundland. It's Tango Strawberry and Watermelon, which I've never had before, so I'm going to try it. Mm. Mm. More watermelon than strawberry. I mean, it's drinkable, but I always get these fancy drinks expecting loads, but actually I prefer more plain drinks, so I don't know why I do it, but I just see them and I'm like, ooh, I need to try it. So I'm going to go and look in at B&M, because I've not been in there in a while. So, yeah, that's where I'm going next. I've just seen, seen all these mini Fabulosa. So they've got three scents. They've got this one, which is Electrify. This one, which is Lemon. And then this one, which is Rhubarb. And they're only 79 pence. They're handy for your bag as a disinfectant. Um, so, yeah, these are... My question is, are you a home bargains or a B&M type of person? Like, which one is your preference? Because I feel like I go through stages where I think b and the best thing since sliced bread. But then I go through stages where I think home bargains is the best thing. So I don't really know, I'm a bit, I don't, I don't know, I'm time between the two, but which one is your favourite, let me know. But anyway, I'm still having a browse, I'm in the food section and I'm trying not to buy any more food because I just keep buying food and I don't need food. I mean, I no longer eat Nutella because it's not vegan, unfortunately, but look at these tubs of Nutella for 2 99 instead of like the big tub if you wanted like to give them to kids for packed lunches and that. I think that's pretty cool. They've got some packs of lint rollers for $1.99, but these animal print ones are a bit me, so you get two leopard, one Dalmatian, and one zebra. I really like this home section where it's like boho kind of tropical. I love this mirror. This is so cute. This would actually go really nice in my office, but I feel like it's literally just pointless. I'm going to be getting really like a big freestyle mirror, so I don't need that, but I just think it's so cute. They also have like a pink homeware section as well, if that's your vibe, but this is my preference. Like, I just think it's lovely. I always think B&M's home sec um, Christmas section is the best, but I've just seen this section all for dogs. So this says, I like dogs, I like cats. Then you've got loads of different mugs with different like breeds of cats and dogs on. You've got some notepads, and then you've got um, a dog mug, a cat mug. And then it's a little cushion that says for the dog, and this little water bottle as well. Why do I get obsessed with things like this? But I just think it's so cute. But they actually have like a whole range of Christmas stuff coming in. Oh my God, I really like these with your birth, um, with your zodiac sign on. I think they're really cute. Christmas wrapping paper has arrived. Get yourself in, stock up. I like to stock up early with it or else I always like forget to get it. So yeah, I try to stock up early on it. I've just seen this section where they've got all the novelty Christmas gifts. This is really exciting. Oh my God, that is such a cute little dairy milk tree. I'll have to get that for my brother. Um, but yeah, they've just got loads. I really love being in for stuff like this. Like you can do like a movie night set for someone. They have like all the different coffees, liqueurs. They just do like everything. I just think they're the best really. Just there's something for everyone, which I just think is so cool. I'm just giving you a brief overview of like what's in at the minute. But these are like, I just love them. You even get like cracker sets. Me and Sean used to always buy each other like um, a little chutney and cheese set because we both love it around Christmas. Oh my god, look, slush machines, slush puppy machines with little mugs in there. Then you've got like a selection of shortbreads and loads of biscuits. Then you've got the men's sections, you've got FC UK, David Beckham, Dove. Just so much stuff, like oh my god, it's getting us so excited for Christmas. Revolutionary thing happened. I went in to B&M and I didn't buy anything. I was really good, I mean there was loads I could have had. But I'm going to wait on the hour Christmas to start getting Christmas stuff because I don't want to clutter my mum's house because she'll get really annoyed. And then, obviously, I don't want to clutter the new house yet because it's not in a stage where I can, like, stop putting, like, stuff in like that. So, Sean would be not best pleased if I did that. So, I've maintained stuff. So, I only actually bought things in Poundland so far, but I'm going to go at Home Bargains because I'm in a stage where I think I prefer Home Bargains over Poundland. Like, like I said, I go through stages of preferring one or the other. And at the minute, I just feel Home Bargains, it just has a bit more of, like, what I'm after. So, I'm going to go at Home Bargains, see what's in there, and... Yeah, see if I can get anything. I got a few bits in Poundland. I didn't get anything in TK Maxx. Honestly, people always talk about TK Maxx's home section because it's home sense. 
and I'm I'm not gonna lie, I was rather disappointed. Now, I do have at the Metro Centre, which isn't like far from where I live, there's a dedicated home sense, which is like just a home sense. I'm presuming they'll have like loads more. But like that TK Max that I went into upstairs, there's a home sense, but I just like half the shelves were empty and the stuff that was there I just didn't think were that good. Or the few bits that I did think were nice when I looked at the prices, I just thought they were quite pricey for what they were, considering like I know you can probably get similar things in likes of um Primark Home or Home Bargains Home. So not gonna lie, first impression to home sense is I don't love it. Um but I mean I have just been in a really little one that's within a TK Max. I think I really need to go at like a dedicated one before i judge it and i'm just watching the police helicopter in the sky because it's like flying around and i i don't know helicopters and muses but i'm just having a little nub at that anyway let's go to home bargains okay guys so i drove to home bargains and the queue was literally like massive so i couldn't be bothered away so i just left i'm just gonna go into my grandma's and um say her because i promised i would go for a coffee today because i haven't seen her in a while and then after that i'll be heading back up to the house to um basically go back and get Sean or probably be at the house for a while because there's a few bits that we need to do but yeah it's turned into like a come shop with me but also like just a bit of a vlog as well but I'm gonna go in and see my grandma my really dry, my really dry skin my dry skin's really hurting recently um why does my face look so round I mean it is round but you never know I mean you never know you know but fuck me do you ever just like talk and just you just chat shit like shit just comes out your mouth because I feel like that's me I just chat and then it doesn't make sense and I just talk all the time but I feel like I just need to be producing sound a lot of the time okay guys so I'm back at the house Sean's just finishing the electrics I met when neighbor like opposite were which I've not met before so that's exciting but I'm going to show you what I got in Poundland because I didn't actually show you what I bought so I just bought some of these because obviously we're having people help them with the house and that and they're really handy because we don't have milk and that so I got with some cappuccino pot things you like them don't you Sean mm -hmm. so I got with them look what I got Sean what's all right? and then lemons on a mug I think it's cute well, it was only a pound and I love lemons so I had to get that didn't I mm -hmm. oh by the way Wayfair ran my other chair's coming tomorrow what's that like like an old chair well like my the chair that matches the sofa my sofa came the day if you haven't seen it, it'll be on the daily dose of us channel but anyway this is my little mug so i got this because i just really love lemon and then i got oh look what i got you cars mr grumpy grew had a moan at us this morning about something in particular look Ta -da! <laughs> because i got him right here's a debate i got sean a chicken and mushroom pot noodle which i think before i went vegan were the best ones and now I like the beef and tomato ones because they're accidentally vegan. But Sean was like, well, why didn't you get a curry one? So there's a curry one for you. So I got Sean that. And then I got some. Oh, I got you a drink. Not as cool. Well, yeah, it is actually. And then I got myself this drink, which I tried in the vlog earlier on. You seen this? Tango, watermelon and um, strawberry. But you like normal drinks, so I got you that. And then I got this, guys. This is a weekly planner, and it says weekly organizer. Um, and then it's just got like I really liked it because you can put like your week commencing date, and then like your fun stuff, your home stuff, and your work stuff. I actually really like this. And then it has a little notes section at the back as well. If I can show you, and then it's just oh, and then it's just got some notes pages. So I just got this for a pound. I thought it was really nice, so I got that. And then. I got some more coffee for the house because we're all running out. And then the last thing I got is just some extra toilet roll because, yeah, you need toilet roll when you have a house. So I got this one. These were all from Poundland, but that's all I bought today. I'm actually quite surprised that I didn't buy more considering I was like having a look around all the shops. But you know what? I was good. I just got what I felt I needed apart from the mug. The mug was a little bonus, but I mean, you've got to have some treats in your life, haven't you? And I mean, this mug was too cute not to buy. But this is going to end the Come Shop With Me video. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, you really do love my Come Shop With Me's and I love filming them because I just love going to them. And I've actually started venturing out and going to shops that I've never been to before now that I'm a homeowner. I've been going to Dunelm, which I never really used to go to. I've been going to the range. I've been going to B&Q a lot, but I'm bloody sick of that place, aren't we? Uh, it's, like, it's stupid price to me. <laughs> 
it's like i'm sick of the sight of that place um and i want to go to wilkinson's more because they're known for really good um prices for home stuff so if you want to say come shop with me with all them stores then let us know but without further ratatat i will let you go and i'll see you very shortly for another video bye Ooh.